<laughs> do -do 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 -do. Wait, we already went up there. Very peaceful music on the icy side. It belies its true nature. This world is this world is definitely the most dangerous to be in. You take so much damage in this world from the dragon spitting stuff at you to the really annoying fiery side enemies and the massive amounts of lava everywhere. The fact that the enemies don't drop that much health also is a little worrisome. Ah, yes. It's the Icicle Grotto. There are these living icicles that we can just rat a tat rat. Some of them at least drop HP for us, which is good. eerie though. Very pretty place. I love the ice ice cave, but eh. It's a Cheeto page on the other side of this wall. But we can't melt it. Not even with fire eggs. You would think fire eggs would be really useful on the icy side. They, it's They're really not. Ice eggs are amazing on the lava side, but fire eggs are really not that useful on the icy side. They can't immediately destroy these things. But so can a ratatat wrap. Or, or the Kazooie bash into the ground move. Or a dodge roll. Um, am I stuck in the wall? Am I stuck? Apparently I got stuck behind this icy falls. That was interesting. Anyhow, there's a warp pad up here. Stop whistling for my attention, I don't care about it. That Minjo is, like, constantly trying to get my attention. Anyhow, there's a bunch of icicles up here. If we zoom in, can we hit them? Nah. They don't go far enough. We'll have to get closer. Split up pads, but again, I'm not splitting up unless I have to. Perhaps grenade eggs will do make a difference. There we go. Yeah, grenade eggs will make the stalactites fall. I don't know why they start floating in the air as a result of doing this. There we go. No, what, 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 no! The stupid jump button. Ah, my controller did not respond to my jump. That's okay. Deaths in this game are not that big of a deal. Especially because we just got a warp pad right over there. Now we have fire side upper area, ice side upper area, and then ice side inside the icicle grotto. We still haven't gotten the other, just the main ice side warp pad yet. That area seems to be very secluded for no real reason. Oh, also, 
I remember we're, we need just Kazooie to go through the icicle area because there's a jam jar silo at the end of this and it's a move for Kazooie alone. We've already gotten all of the Banjo and Kazooie combined moves. Navigating these with just Kazooie can be a little irritating. Anyhow. Kazooie, we go all the way up here, and out through this door. And here we go, we can pay 660 notes for this final move on Hailfire Peaks. Glide! Now you're lifting, no big fat bear! Easy it'll be to glide through the air! Jump up high and then hold Z! Don't need fly pads or feathers red! That'll be all! Dismissed! Oh, I think when it said Z, it was supposed to say Z to make that rhyme work. Yeah, so here we get by far the most broken move for Kazooie, the ability to glide. All you have to do is hold Z while in the air, and you will just glide. You can't fly up, but you can. You will fall extremely slowly, and uh, yeah, you can just glide basically anywhere. So, for example, you can glide on top of here in order to get this Cheeto page. Very nice. There's a little platform up there we can glide to, but there's nothing there yet. We can also fall down here. Oh hey, there's a giant train switch that we are too lightweight to actually press. There's Wumpa's Wigwam, though. Yay, this is the this is the part of the ice area. I'm like, why have we not found this yet? And there's the final warp pad for the level. Excellent. All right. Banjo, uh, we kind of ditched you in the Icicle Grotto. Sorry, pal. Is there anything just Banjo can do up here in the Icicle Grotto? It would be nice. There's the Trouble Clef. We forgot to grab that. Whoopsies. Actually, I don't think Banjo can even go up here. No, he can't. 20 degree slopes are too much for Banjo to handle without Kazooie's help. Alright. Let's see if we can reach this. With our Pack Whack Double Jump glitch. Yes, this is a glitch, by the way. You're not supposed to be able to jump pack whack and then jump again. But I'm glad we can! Also, jump pack whack jump makes uh, navigating levels as just Banjo significantly easier and significantly more fun. So, I will take whatever I can get. Anyhow, as Banjo and Kazooie, let's go up here and see what's in store. Yep, there's a branching path over here, which leads to a lava area. I thought there was some other way of going in here. Maybe not. Anyhow, where does this lead? Oh, that's right. I believe this takes us back to the volcano. Yep. We can grab that hollow honeycomb piece. Nice. I think we've already gotten two of them on this level, and we haven't done a whole lot on this level. We've explored most of the map now, but there's still so much to be done. All right. We're going to head over to that igloo over there. I don't think the igloo was near the oil rig. I think it was down... Yeah, it's down over this area. Whee! Oh, the stupid dragon. Oh, 
The dragon is definitely making things more difficult. And there's another Jiggy on the other side of this ice wall. Again, we can't melt that ice wall, though. Oh. Hey, buddy. Uh, you've certainly seen better days. Nope, ice eggs aren't going to help this poor guy. And here's this wall. And now, the other side of this wall is where we found the Mega Globo. So this is where we could see out to Hailfire Peaks. It's very cool how the worlds are interconnected. I think I've said this a lot in the Viz Let's Play, but it really is cool. Also, don't touch the water. On the icy side, it will freeze you and hurt. Everything is hazardous in this. Oh, that's right. We want to go over here. Yeah. I want to go to that igloo. The, there's something cool in the igloo. Get it. Hey, young man. I'm Mildred Ice Cube, but I seem to have misplaced my husband, George. There was this terrible blizzard, and he was whisked off into the sky. So? Isn't it obvious? I want you to go and look for him. You got a Jinjo in. Is that a Jinjo or a Minjo? Yeah, Ratatat Raps ain't gonna work to destroy her. Also, that would be very rude of us to destroy her. My husband George was blown away into the sky. Don't think you're taking this little man I've acquired either. But I need Jinjo. He's a free man. Take this. Ah! Tell George his dinner is in the... <laughs> yeah, we literally have to murder her in order to get this Jinjo that she's carrying. It's a little dark. You can't rat attack rapper, but you can grenade at her. Alright, let's go into this igloo. <laughs> It's Boggy's Igloo! With this sad rendition of the Freeze Easy Peak music. Hello, Boggy! Take a look at my new widescreen TV! It's got loads of features! I'm sure it has! It has actually 100 Hertz of scanning, Dolby 5.1 surround sound, 9999 channels, 15 SCART sockets, free remote controls. Ah! Oh, sorry, but it's got no online shopping and I'm really hungry. Oh, what do you want? A big hot fish would be great. Yeah, Boggy's back and he's noticeably a lot fatter and he's just watching TV. There's a basement in here too. Oh, it's Boggy's old sled. Just abandon. There's something a little melancholy about Boggy's igloo in this game. I mean, he was he was never a great father, even in the first game, but here he's just like he doesn't care his kids are missing in Witchy World. He's just. Very, very fat, sitting on his butt watching TV, not doing anything. He's given up on sledding, which used to be his passion. It's kind of sad. Any progress with my fish yet? Oh, no. Aw, keep looking, won't you? Now if I set my satellite to 11.671, I reckon it should be time for bear babes and Eskimos. Okay. He's... Yeah, Foggy's gotten worse. <laughs> Oh, Boggy. Folks, don't be a Boggy. Be a Banjo. Anyhow, on a happier note, let's actually go over and investigate Wumpa's Wigwam. And also talk to the, the dead alien. Because <laughs> the dead alien... Yep, there he is. Ugh. Oh. 
all, we can't talk to him because, well, he's he's dead. Actually, wait, I heard a Globo back there. Because technically, the one Globo we do have is for, uh, for Mumbo. It's the one we found near Mumbo's skull. Remember, the Globos can always be found near Mumbo and Wumba. I think it's over here. There it is. Hey, little guy. Come here. Banjo wants to help you. Wow, he's actually running away from me. He's like, I know where this is going. Yep. Very cold. Let me tell you what, if you didn't use Wonder Wing a whole lot in the game before now, you, you're probably going to use it a lot for this world. Anyhow, now that we have a second... Globo? Let's go to Humba Wumba. Wumba, we kind of need to become a stony again. You have Globo. Want to give to Humba? Sure, I'll just throw it in. Magic ready. Jump in Wumba pool. All right, stony, here we come. Actually, psych, we are not a stony in this world. Wumba call this snowball. Use control stick to move and hold B for big heap roll attack. Yeah, so surprise, we actually don't get to become a stony in this world, so... How the heck are we gonna understand what that stony was saying? It's kind of weird. We'll have to figure that out as we go. Anyhow, this is the snowball. I consider this to be possibly the worst transformation in the game. We don't really have an attack, and we always start at 1 HP. And our jump is bad, and we basically just roll around. So the snowball's kind of weird. His HP is directly tied to his size. If he rolls in the snow, he gains HP and grows bigger. And if you take damage, like say rolling into a fire, you lose damage and get smaller. Because the snowball actually gets bigger, you actually need 1 HP in order to enter, enter Wumpa's Wigwam with it. And yes, grabbing Honeycomb will immediately start to make you grow bigger. However, the bigger you get, the slower you are. I actually think your speed maintains the same. It just feels slower because of how much bigger you are. There's another mumbo pad up there. Whee! Unfortunately, the problem is balancing your snowball's size. Because as you can see, the bigger you are, you'll be able to push heavier switches down. But you also, it's going to be harder to navigate the level, because there will be just holes you can't fit through. However, once you're at maximum size, you can take out these little, the yetis, no problem. However, the snowman has a very bad, the snowball has a very bad jump. We also, as a result, we can't actually reach the oil rig button, which is what we need the maximum size snowball to push down. We can use the Ice Dragon and let him hit us in order to shrink our size when we need to. Which is nice to know. Nope, not even Snowball can go that far, go that fast. Let's go out into the lava side, yeah. You can take Snowball into the lava side, but not for very long. Because, um... Snowball on the lava side is just going to gradually take damage over time. Although he can insta-kill those lava hands by rolling into them, so that's great. What we want to do is roll along the top. Yeah, as you can see, just being here over time will gradually hurt us. Oh, hey, there's the last hollow honeycomb piece that we missed. Whoops, we'll have to grab that later. But what we can do is go up here. Now we're at the top of Hailfire Peak's icy side over where this oil rig platform is. So what we need to do is we need to find a patch of snow, continually roll around in it until we can get heavy enough in order to push this down. Because you need to be you need to be a snowball at full HP to be heavy enough to push that switch down all the way. 
Actually, does this count as snow? If I keep rolling in this over and over again, will it eventually make me grow bigger? Or perhaps I can... Ah, here we go. Yeah, you go up here. Oh, no. These ice dragons come to ruin everything. Okay, here we are. Max size snowball. Now we're going to roll on top of this switch, and we should be heavy enough to push it down. Let's see if there's anything worth digging up, Mr. Dalmer. Oil rig looks like it's seen better days. It's about to blow up. They found a jiggy in the oil, apparently. And it bounces all the way back to Grunty Industries in the waste disposal plant. Remember those two machines? One pumping water in from Jolly Roger's Lagoon and the one pumping in oil from Hailfire Peaks? Yep. Now there's a jiggy down there. Now we just have to figure out a way to actually get inside that pipe. Yeah, this is where the jiggies are definitely very long, man. Ah. There's a lot to go into grabbing each one. Anyhow, there's one other thing we can do with the snowball, and that's pushing that giant train switch. But we're gonna have to figure out a way to get all the way up to that train switch. And here we are. This is the way. Thankfully, there are a lot of ramps. Thankfully, the Hailfire Peaks icy side is fairly handicap friendly, so we can roll up here and then... Kablam! Push the train switch. This will open up the icy train station. Uh, so, yeah, there are actually two train stations for Hailfire Peaks. One on the fiery side and one on the icy side. Kind of interesting, that. Anyhow, that's all I believe we can do with the snowball, so now we're going to have to go over here. Constantly hit this campfire that Humpus set up until we reach 1 HP, and that way we can actually fit back into her wigwam. Never mind! Stupid dragon actually hit us while we got stuck on the side of the wigwam.